Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve the eighth question of NCR text of chemistry, page number 22. So the question is, determine the molecular formula of an oxide of iron in which the mass percent of iron and oxygen are 69.9 and 30.1 respectively. So now to find the answer for this question, we have to make out a table like this in which there are different headings named as element, percentage composition, relative number of moles, simplest ratio and finally simplest whole number ratio so below the element heading the things which we have to write are the different elements which, is, which are given in this question so we can see that different elements which are given in this question are iron and oxygen respectively so we can write down iron Fe, and oxygen which is o now next column represents the percentage composition of these particular elements. So the percentage composition of iron is given as 69.9% and that of oxygen is given as 30.1%. Next we have to find out the relative number of moles of these elements. So first we can find out the relative number of moles of iron. So the method by which we could find out the rate and number of moles of a particular element is that we could divide the percentage composition of that particular element by its atomic mass. So the percentage composition of uh, iron which is given in this question is 69.9 by the atomic mass of iron is 56. And when we calculate, we will get the answer as 1.24 as the answer. Now, in case of oxygen, the percentage composition is given as 30.1 and its atomic mass is 16, so we'll get the answer as 1.81. Now, next we have to find out the simplest ratio. Now, here we have to see which is the lowest number among these. That is, whether 1.24 or 1.81 is the lowest number. So now we have to find out the simplest ratio. So for that, we have to see which number is lesser among these. That is, so when we see, we can see that 1.24 is lesser than 1.81. That is 1.81 is greater than 1.24. So we, what we have to do is that we have to, in order to find out the simplest ratio, we have to divide the relative number of moles of that particular element by the lowest number among these so the relative number of moles of fe is 1.24 by the lowest number among these is 1.24 so we will get the answer as 1 and now here the relative number of moles of oxygen is 1.81 by the lowest number is 1.24 and then we calculate we will get the answer as 1.5 as the answer now here there is a problem here, 1.5, it is a decimal number. It is not a whole number. So always, we, would, we must take into consideration that when we find the formula for a compound, it must be a simplest whole number ratio, not a decimal number. It mustn't be a decimal number. So we have to see whether we could convert this decimal number into a whole number by multiplying it with some other number. So we can see that when we multiply 1.5 by 2, we will get the answer as 3, which is a whole number. So since we are multiplying 2, um, 1.5 by 2 over here we have to also multiply this 2 by 1 over here too so 1 into 2 which is equal to 2 so we'll get the empirical formula as fe2 or 3 so here we have found out the empirical formula but we have we are supposed to find out the molecular formula of that compound so the equation by which we could find out the molecular formula is equal to n into empirical formula now we have to find out this n. Now the equation for n equals molar mass by empirical formula mass. Now in the side we could find out we can find out the value of these two. Uh, quantities. So molar mass now in this equation molar mass is equal to empirical formula mass so the so the empirical formula was fe2o3 now we have to find out its mass so empirical formula mass equals atomic mass of 
Fe is 56 into number of ion atoms is 2 plus atomic mass of oxygen is 16 into number of atoms 3 and when we calculate we will get the answer as 160 gram per mole so molar mass is equal to empirical formula mass so 160 by 160 which we will get the answer as 1 so empirical formula is equal to sorry molecular formula is equal to empirical formula is equal to Fe2O3